So one of the comments I see quite often on uh, Flat Earth discussions is, how can you prove we're on a spinning ball? How can we actually prove that? I'm just going to talk about that for a moment and uh, just consider the fact that if we are actually on a spinning ball that is rotating like this, that is moving 1,040 miles per hour at the equator, there should be a measurable difference in the weight of objects when they are measured at the equator compared to when they are measured at a higher latitude. And by higher latitude, I mean higher south latitude value or higher north latitude value. And uh, let's just take Perth, for example. If I measured the weight of an object in Perth, and then I measured the weight of it again in Singapore using the same set of scales, an accurate pair of the scales, and using exactly the same weight, there should be a noticeable difference. And that would be evidence, I won't say proof in this case, but that would be strong evidence that supports the fact that we're on a spinning ball. Now, I've just started doing this type of experiment with an accurate set of scales and a known calibration weight. And this video will be a bit disjointed because I've been doing it over many locations. And please consider this video now just a bit of a teaser because I plan to do it over much greater variances of latitude. I plan to go to Singapore and measure it there. And I plan to go to the bottom of New Zealand and measure it there. And I plan to go to Alaska and measure it there too. And that's uh, probably going to take me the rest of the year to get to all those locations. But uh, what I wanted to show you is the testing so far, which has been in Perth, 32 south latitude, in Canberra, which is 35 plus south latitude. And I'm now currently in Broome, which is just slightly under 18 degrees south latitude. Now, using this set of scales, do we notice a difference? I'll just play some of the other aspects of the videos that I've made. And as I said, they are a bit disjointed, but um, what I plan to do is make a much more polished version of this once I get to those other locations. So just watch the videos and uh, right at the end, I'll post the weighing of this weight in Broome, Australia, because that will be the comparison to the previous parts of this video and uh, you'll see that there actually is a difference. I was quite surprised that uh, that reality matches the theory. So I thought of another experiment that was worth trying and that is to use an accurate set of scales. Now this set is accurate to 0 0.01 of a gram, that's one hundredth of a gram and I also bought a standard calibration weight of 500 grams for this experiment and the idea behind it is to uh, measure the weight at different latitudes and if the earth is actually spinning it should indicate less weight closer to the equator and more weight as we move further away from the equator either north or south latitudes now as i was reading the manual i was uh, quite surprised to see that they even talk about that and uh, the calibration of the scales has been performed at the factory however the weighing range can shift slightly during the shipping or due to changes in local acceleration of gravity around the world. If the scale begins to show inaccuracies, please perform calibration with a smart way 500 gram calibration weight not included. But that's what I've got and I have calibrated it now. And I'm at 32 south latitude which is Perth and it's calibrated for 500 grams. You'll see how precise that is. It's to one hundredth of a gram and it's showing it just nice and accurately there. So as I move to a different location, different latitude, it should now show me a different weight. And certainly when I fly from Perth, if I'm flying to Sydney going east with the curvature of the uh, Earth and with the uh, rotation of the Earth in the same direction as the aircraft is flying, there should be, again, a very significant change in the weight. Now when I say significant we're only talking about one or maybe one and a half to two grams but that's enough on a set of uh, scales like this that is uh, accurate to one hundredth of a gram to demonstrate that the gravity or the force of gravity is actually changing. Now if it occurs as I move um, latitude 
that's a fairly solid proof that the Earth is uh, spinning. And if it um, increases uh, or reduces the uh, gravity, I should say, as I'm flying east in an aircraft, and it shows a lighter weight on this set of scales, well, that's also proof that the aircraft is following the curvature of the Earth. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to doing this uh, further testing. So I'm now in Canberra, Australia, which is a latitude of 35 degrees, 18 minutes south. So it's more than three degrees further south than Perth was, and that's just looking out over Canberra Airport. Now, if we put my weight on the scales, which were calibrated in Perth to exactly 500 grams, 500.00 grams, it should show a heavier weight here in Canberra because we're at a further south latitude. So we've, we're getting less centrifugal force from the rotation of the Earth. So let's see if we can actually measure that. There you go. It's 0.16 of a gram heavier at a further south latitude. So I'm back in Perth, Australia, and there's the uh, latitude and longitude, uh, basically close to 32 degrees south latitude. This is where I originally calibrated this set of scales with a 500 gram weight. So if we put this back on now, it should also show 500.00. Okay, so there you can see it's 500.00 grams back at 32 south latitude. So the calibration has not changed. Now, what I hope to do tomorrow is do a similar measurement at a much further north latitude. Now, remember Canberra was showing a heavier weight. Perth is consistently showing 500.00, which is where this scale was calibrated. And at a more northern latitude, it should be showing a lighter weight that's due to the centrifugal force of rotation of the Earth. So the last sample I want to do is uh, here in Broome, Australia, which is uh, 17 degrees 56 minutes south latitude. That's my current location. Now, in theory, as we are closer to the equator, this standard weight on this set of scales, which I've not changed the calibration since the first time done in Perth, this weight should now appear less than 500 grams. So let's try it. Look at that, 499.44. So it's more than half a gram lighter because we're closer to the equator. Now, I know what you're all thinking. He's changed the calibration. He's rigged it somehow. Of course, that's possible. but. Why would I do that? Because any of you can repeat this experiment quite easily for yourself. And in fact, I encourage you to be skeptical because I'm skeptical of experiments I see on YouTube and I don't really trust anything until I do the test myself. So I'm not going to deceive myself by doing this uh, test incorrectly. I'm actually quite fascinated, to be honest, and I have the opportunity to travel a lot. And I look forward to doing this in Singapore and I look forward to doing it in uh, Anchorage, Alaska, because it's just fascinating to see that the theory that that we actually do get taught, you know, people say we get indoctrinated. Of course, I, I learned all those things at school, but now I'm testing them for myself, you know, coming in flat earth. I actually quite enjoy testing all these theories for myself and testing it here in Broome. It's lighter. And that fits the theory that we're on a spinning ball. I mean, if you've got a, an explanation for this on the flat earth, please tell me. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm interested to hear it. But this certainly does provide evidence that is not inconsistent and actually supports a rotating ball. And it's going to be very interesting what sort of value we get when I go to Singapore and what we get when I go to um, Anchorage, Alaska. But there it is. Now what I'll do is I'll link to this scale and I'll link to the weight and uh, you can buy them and test them yourself. And uh, that's what I encourage you to do. You don't have to travel around the world. You don't have to be a pilot. The distance from Sydney to Canberra is only a few hundred miles. So wherever you are, calibrate the scale with the weight 
and then jump in your car and drive 300 miles north or south. And that will be enough to make an observable difference. Test it yourself, please, and uh, be skeptical of my videos. I don't want you to just accept what I show you. I want you to think about what I show you and then verify it yourself because I want you to be skeptical because I'm skeptical of everything I see and I read and I don't believe anything until I test it myself. And this is real evidence that I am now absolutely convinced that when I go closer to the equator, it's going to be lighter again.